Okay, now that you've got the car completely cleaned, now we're going to work on decontaminating the paintwork. What we're going to be using here is CarPro's Iron X Lemon Scent. This is going to help loosen the iron particles that are bonded to the paintwork that don't come out from just means of washing. You have to remove these particles from the paint prior to doing any sort of sealing, waxing, or polishing the surface to make sure that you're not sealing in all those contamination which can, uh, over time, start to affect the paintwork in a bad way. So, first things first, make sure you're wearing gloves to prevent contamination to your skin. And when you're applying Iron X, you're going to need to wear a respirator mask because it's very, very strong smelling and can be a little bit nauseating at times. So what we're going to do is first spray the Iron X over the entire surface of the vehicle, including the wheels, and then we're going to agitate it again with the wash mitt as well as with the wheel brushes ever so slightly just to sort of work in the product. We're going to allow it to dwell three to five minutes, and then we're going to rinse it off, and then we're going to start with our me mechanical means of decontaminating the paint. So let's go ahead and put on the respirator here, and we'll get started with spraying. Okay, so now that you've gotten the Iron X sprayed all over the entire car and then you've agitated it again with your wash mitt and then allowed it to dwell for about anywhere from three to five minutes, you can go ahead and rinse it off. Now when you're rinsing it off, you want to make sure that you rinse it off completely so that there is no more pink coming out of any of the crevices. This is just to make sure that you don't leave any of the chemical residual on the bodywork afterwards to continue reacting. You don't want that, this to happen. After five minutes, you want the reaction to stop and rinse it all off completely. Alright, so now you've got the Iron X all rinsed off of the paintwork and the car is still wet. We're going to go ahead and use the CarPro PolyShave Decon Pad in order to smooth out the paintwork and remove the embedded contamination that the Iron X loosened up for us. Here we have NanoSkin Auto Scrub Glide as our lubricant. You can also use other lubricants such as Ultima Waterless Wash Plus or Adam's Detail Spray. Anything that's going to provide a slippery surface in order for the pad to smoothly go over the surface to be able to remove all the contamination. So we're going to apply a little compression here. Prime our pad. Go ahead and apply some of this to our surface. And you can either apply this with machine or by hand. I like to do it by hand better because you can better feel what it is that you're working. And just go ahead and you can either use circular motions, you can go back and forth, however you feel more comfortable, just as long as you're not missing any spots and you can feel the actual difference that it's making. Just keep passing until you feel that it's completely smooth. You do this on all the paintwork, all the glass. You're going to do this on the entire car. And what this is doing is it's make, leaving the paint completely smooth and completely free of any contamination. So that way when we do the paint correction and polishing, we're not polishing around any of the contaminants that are bonded to the paint. And all we're working with is just nice bare naked paintwork. All right, so now that you've got the car fully washed and fully decontaminated, both chemically and mechanically, and it's completely smooth to the touch, now we can go ahead and dry the car off, and then you're ready to proceed with whatever method you're going to seal it with, or if you're going to do paint correction to improve the appearance of the paint, you can go ahead and proceed with taping up all the plastics and such after you dry the entire car off. So here we're going to be using our Metro Blaster Master Blaster. Now this is a 8 horsepower car and bike dryer. This blows out warm air at a very fast rate in order to push all the air off of the car 
and we can use this to get all the air out of all the crevices and cracks and nooks and crannies that with a towel you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Or if you don't have the air dryer, you can also just use your favorite towel, such as the Microfiber Madness Dry Me Crazy, or any other kind of microfiber drying towel that you have. You don't want to use any kind of a chamois or anything like that, as that can create scratches and stuff in the future. So, let's go ahead and get her dried off. All right, so now we've fully decontaminated the exterior surface and we've dried off the entire car, as you can see. So at this point, now you're ready to, if you wanna just go ahead and seal the paint, you can go ahead and just seal it at this point. Or if you're interested in performing some paint correction or polishing to remove scratches, swirl marks, and other imperfections in the paint, you're ready to go ahead and start with that after you tape up all the rubber and plastic seals just to make sure you don't stain them. And then you're good to go at this point. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any other suggestions of videos or tutorials that you'd like to see from us here at SSD, please feel free to leave us a comment and uh, feel free to share the video and send it to all your friends and family, as well as post it on your own social media pages so that way we can get the word out. Appreciate it and have a good one. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our videos, please feel free to share them on your social media page. Make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from SSD and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.